What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the newest episode of Tree Man Builds right here on Tree Man TV. And today, as you could probably tell from the little intro video, we are going to be building a kit from Bandai that is real grade, but it is not a Gundam. That's right, it's from a whole different series. It is from Evangelion. You guys know me, I'm a big fan of that series. I have the display uh, over there if I remember how to point, right above Juice World. And so today, we're going to be building Unit Zero, the very first unit in the show. Uh, you know, it already. Okay, you guys know. And I am just super excited to jump into this. It's my first build that isn't a Gundam. And you can tell it looks just completely different than what we've been building. I'm sure it's got more articulation than what I'm used to. And, you know, there are also, from the box art right here, you can tell there are two ways that we can build it. Much like some of the other kits that Bandai has. We're going to be building it the second way right here. With those big shoulder pads or shoulder blades. So I like that design just a little bit better than the old school original design and something else that comes with this kit this is just the box sorry i took just the top of the box off illusion broken right um something else that comes in this kit that we're not going to be building today we're going to be saving for a future episode is the big positron cannon from operation yashima uh which is one of my favorite episodes in the show where they have to snipe the angel from like so far away because it can't detect them and yeah it's a great episode if you haven't seen the show or the episode go watch it all the whole show is worth watching but once we get unit one back there that fires the rifle then we're gonna build it in the same episode as that uh yeah all in all i am very excited as i've said to get into this so let's just jump right into the build <laughs>
you guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in to the newest episode of Tree Man Builds here on Tree Man TV today. I hope you enjoyed watching me build a Bandai model kit that wasn't a Gundam. Uh, like I said, I'm a big fan of Evangelion, so I do plan to get at least one of each kit of the Ava units. Hopefully unit one is the next one I get. But today, as you saw, we started here with unit zero. Uh, as I said to start at the beginning of the video, it was optional to build two different versions of this kit with the big shoulders I have here or just with small shoulders. There's also some details that are different to the legs and the chest. I tried to highlight them as we were building it. Uh, it does have a lot of articulation. There are some parts that move when I don't want them to move though, like this joint here inside the crotch that kind of connects the waist to the hips. Sometimes the hips actually move when I'm just trying to adjust one of these legs to get a high kick. Like watch, watch, I bet you both those legs start swinging. See, it's because the joint inside of the actual thing is trying to move on me. But aside from that, it was an interesting build. It was really different from building a Gundam. Uh, I almost feel like it was a little quicker, even though I don't know if it was any more or any less pieces. There's all kind of cool things like both the shoulders open for the prog knives to be stored in, which they are, but they probably won't pop out there to show you themselves. That was the biggest reason I went with these style shoulders instead of the original ones that you see on the box art is because I like the idea of my prog knives in the shoulder. And yeah, soon we'll be getting unit one, then unit two, and we'll have the full angel hunting task force right here. But until next time, oh, also I should show you off the umbilical cord that way. The Eva unit always gets powered. Get in there. Get in there. There it goes. Now it's powered and it won't run out of power. So yeah, until next time, this is Tree Man and Unit Zero signing off. Peace.